Hey, welcome back to the Game Tower. It's Mike. I'm here coming live with an unboxing for, as you can tell with the background music, the Crusades. So let's hop right to it. Uh, now, if you don't know about this game by Seth Jathry, it was inspired by the awesome uh, Trajan, which I have on my shelf with the the other felds. And uh, basically the main mechanism of, oh wow, mine got dinged actually. Poo-poo. Uh, I didn't notice that till now. I just pulled that out of the bubble wrap. Uh, but as far as Trajan goes, uh, Seth Joffrey took the concept of Trajan and the actions in reverse. Whereas Trajan's a Moncala, you pick everything up and you drop it in all the pieces. Whereas with Crusaders, you take the action and then you distribute. So kind of interesting, but we'll definitely see how it plays. If you're wondering why I've got the Palaces of Carrara in background, as well as Railroad Revolution, it's because Crusaders Thy Will Be Done is supposed to be another white whale of board gaming. What do I mean by white whale board gaming? Well, I like medium weight euros and there's nothing better than a medium weight euro that plays quickly. And Palaces of Carrara and Railroad Revolution are both medium weight euro games that play within 45 minutes, which is rare. But Crusaders also claims to accomplish this feat. So here's just a look at the rule book. I was reading this earlier to make sure I had my stuff correct. And uh, it's quite well laid out. Ooh, dead spot in the light for some reason. And I'll just take a nice look. This is a good summary. Um, as you can see on your turn, you take you take the action, then you distribute, and then you're able to upgrade. So then you flip over your, your wedges. Uh, the other option is that you can instead just distribute the tokens, like as if you would at the end of an action, but without taking the action, which is sounds like a bad option. <laughs> I'm loving this soundtrack. <laughs> Anyways, we'll get to some of the bit. Well, let's finish the book. Okay. And the game scoring. There you go, that's what you really want to know. Uh, but nicely laid out. Expect nothing less from TMG. Um, oh nice, this does summarize uh, all the actions from the different knight skills, what their benefits are, as well as gives you a bunch of flavor text. Ah, one more page of them. Design notes. There you go. So let's get to what everyone's interested in. Here we go. Stickers. Interesting. Oh, what's this? Oh, nice. Some TMG propaganda. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep, big time advertising. Nice. Argon. Very cool. Cross time and space. Game us champion. And advertising. Big time love Scoville. Eminent Domain's good. Orleans is good, but it, Auntie Plano replaced it for me. Absolutely love Yokohama. Pioneer Days is getting a lot of press that apparently I need to check it out. So here are your player boards, which really doesn't offer you much without everything else into them. But here's some of the lovely colors. It's kind of a teal blue rather than your standard medium blue. And it's more of an orange. So I think these will be a bit more uh, colorblind friendly. Whoever that guy is, it's getting killed. Boy, he keeps getting killed a whole lot. Wow, look. So I thought this might have been two, but it's actually one tile. It's just super, super, duper thick. Let's get one of these out, just so you can see. It's incredible sickness. So there's your starting side. This would be a build action. And you can see it tells you what the flip will be. So it keeps its build, but it gains influence. Nice. 
So, wow. This is actually really, really cool. This is probably one of the first times I've seen this. Of course, it's TMG Deluxe, but they've got UV Spot on the tokens and on your Crusaders. That's a beautiful touch. Makes it pop. Love it. So there's the blue. There's the green. Some more of the different knights. This is orange as well as green. Oh, the blue spilled over on the green board too. Then orange and purple. Oh, that dead spot in my light is bothering me. <laughs> Here we go. So that's player boards. Here is the game board, which also has UV spot varnish on it. Quite nicely done. Let's see how much it pops. So, if you're unaware, this would be the two player board. I don't know if I can, I gotta adjust the camera angle. But as you can see in the top left over here, indicates player count. And then on the other side, is your three and four, with reminders of how much uh, currency you put in the game, which is, oh, it's not renowned. What was it? <laughs> is it influence? Let's see. Yeah, influence. My apologies. Now, all the bits. All the lovely bits. So, if you went all in deluxe, well, it wasn't And If you went deluxe rather than retail, you get the plastic, miniature style, as well as the wood tokens. So let's get these open. Wood or plastic first? Uh, we'll go alphabetical. <laughs> so, take a few options here. I'm trying to show you one of each color and one of each uh, model. So this is one of the buildings. Ooh, there we are. Boy, my camera's not loving this. Focus close, there you go. This is really nicely done. Even hollowed them out so they're rather light. Uh, the box is not going to weigh you down too much. So that looks like a church. Here's a green farmhouse. No, stay focused. It's close. The detail on these is incredible. I remember during the campaign that they're sort of nitpicking the details as they went. And yeah, it paid off. Let's see if we can get that super zoomed. Oh, it's too close for the camera. Nice though. Really well done. Let's see. Get the purple of the castle. Detail is sweet. Really well done. They definitely put the effort in and they definitely got the quality in the product. Yeah. Oh, the spires are separate too. That's, yeah, that's really nice. Let's see what else. I want to see the knights. That's what I want to see. Oh, I don't think we showed the courthouse. Where was that? It didn't show orange. There it is. So here we go. This kind of court or halls of justice. I'm not sure what the game calls it. Pretty straightforward. And then here you go. Here's one of the knights. It's got nice detail with the uh, footwork, or the groundwork, I should say. I wish my lighting was better, but unfortunately I didn't turn on all the lights in the tower. But there you go. So yeah, they're they're rather small as you can tell, but definitely quite good looking. Here's one of the silk screens that come with it. A little excess. And there's silk screen bags. There's the crusaders. Nice. And Let's go through the wood bits. 
so right away you can kind of tell. I mean, wood bits are wood bits, right? But these do have the suck screen, so it does make them pop. I quite enjoy wood. I don't need plastic in my games, uh, but with this one having both options, it's great. You can mix and match. Players can choose their own. So you'll notice with this castle, right? It's got the two spires, but it's whole, right? Not quite the same as the minis. What else? That's two of the buildings. Ooh, golden influence. What's blaring in the background? <laughs> the background music is some battle soundtrack. Just something I found on YouTube. It's what I like to do whenever uh, we're gaming here at my place. Oh, I'll just show you quickly. You spin all the way around over the game shelf. There's the TV blaring some battle sounds. <laughs> Here's a little behind the scenes. Here's your little farm buildings. So I'm curious to hear from others out there uh, whether or not this is uh, the color choices really help with color blindness. And you know what? We can do a test. We'll do it with the little courthouses. So, which color is which? Purple, blue, green, orange. Hopefully they stand out for those who need the color blindness, because I know it's a real challenge with them. <laughs> I've played with a couple color blind players. You know what? I almost skipped the knights. Ooh, the Black Knight. It's the Dark Knight! So there's always gotta be a But no silk screen on the knights, so. Nothing that's really. Ooh. Let's grab the next one. Yeah, pretty straightforward, but still, really nice cut. Alright. Are back in and the bling. Nice and hardy. The bag they're in is not. Here's the sword. As you can see, quite nice, quite shiny. Not extremely ornate, but very, very beautiful. And you could stab your friends. Although, don't. Don't stab your friends. <laughs> Here are the fives. Tens, and then we'll get to the ones last. So I, I do like this idea. This is also sort of an idea in Lisboa, where instead of having just coins with numbers on them, they actually expanded the sizes of them. <laughs> no, I don't think it's lame that you prefer wood to plastic. Um, I, I quite like wood, and I'm more than happy if the game's got wood components. Yes, this is true. These coins are baller. These ones are small, though. Like, look at that. It's not even as big as a thumbnail. Oh, maybe. Oh, I already lost one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they, they are gorgeous. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's another. So, it is really good that the, the gold tens are a another size because the brass ones or copper ones I have the same problem with my other metal coin set uh, they are very similar the gold tens shine a lot more than the ones but they are uh, very similar in intent and would be hard to distinguish without the size difference so there you go that's crusaders that will be done uh, I try to make it quick but it takes a while to unbox everything Anyways, if you haven't played Palaces of Carrara, definitely check it out. It's another favorite of mine. Railroad Revolution, I wish I could get it to the table more so I could get it to that 45 minute sweet spot. Uh, but Crusaders is definitely going to be on the to playlist. Hopefully, it'll pull this weekend. All right. So, it's Mike from the Game Tower. Thanks, everybody, for yeah come on come to pogob and try it out i'll definitely teach it and i will learn it by the time the pogob comes this sunday and you're welcome thanks all for Shrina and hal tuning in love having the support and also big up to tmg who uh 
reposted my Instagram photo today of leading up for this uh, unboxing. All right, have a great night and enjoy some games. Peace. Peace. Yes, phone. I do want to stop streaming.